Hey guys, happy new year. It's MJ and you're at my channel called Reading This Life. And in today's video, I wanted to pop in here and do the new year's tag. Whew, that was then, this is now. Hey everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, we're gonna do the new year's tag. Stay tuned. It's Tuesday, people. Okay, so as you saw by my intro, I did this tag last year. I'm feeling like a seasoned booktuber now. I, I'm, I'm repeating a tag that I did last year. I'm gonna give myself a little pat on the back for sticking with it. So um, this was a fun tag. I remember doing it. I remember my word last year. I got my word this year. So we are going to go through the prompts. There are six simple prompts. This tag was created by Heather at Bookables. Um, and I will link uh, her channel down below. So um, this is the New Year's book tag. Here we go with, the, oh, there's seven prompts. Sorry, seven. All right, number one, how many books are you planning to read in 2023? Last year, I read 75 for uh, David Bowie's birthday. This year, I'm going to read 76 for the same reason. And I'm gonna do a video uh, later this week to talk about why I'm continuing on the Bowie trend. You may know already, but um, there is a project that I'm participating in and hopefully I'm gonna do a really cool announcement video. I haven't thought of any ideas yet, but um, yeah, that's coming, so stay tuned. So 76 is, is the magic number, but hopefully like in my heart of hearts, I wanna to get to like, I don't wanna like count a number, like maybe 80, you know, once I hit 75, or 76, I'm good. Like, whatever else is just, like, gravy. Okay, uh, prompt number two. Name five books you didn't get to in the last year but want to make a priority. And I looked at last year's video, and the one book that I was able to make a priority was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, and that was fantastic. So, I only did one of the five, so I'm hoping... Did I do one of the five or two of the five? Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, so five books that I'm making a priority in 2022. I didn't get to this one yet. I really wanted to. Princess and the Scoundrel, man. The love story between Han Solo and Princess Leia. Um, it's going to happen. I think I'm going to save it for February. Romance, epic romance, you know, childhood crush. Damn, Harrison Ford is uh, Han Solo. That was good. That was really good. Um, yeah. So I think um, this is going to be uh, eaten up in February. Next, it's Kilman Creek by Rachel Kane. I read the first novel in this series by her, and it's really, really good. Um, the back blurb says, she's not running. She's not hiding. She's hunting. Basically, she finds out that her husband of a long time turns out to be a serial killer, and he's in jail. And he has a cult and, um, you know, his cult members are carrying things out for him. Uh, I can't really remember the first book. I don't think he got out of jail, but I'm not sure. Um, but this is a continuation of her story. She's running, she's protecting her family, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, but it says here, she's not running anymore. So she's standing her ground. So these books are supposed to be really, really good and fast paced. So, um, really looking forward to picking up th with this series. Next, check out 19. This is one of the New York Times um, best 22 books of 2022, and I need to read it. I just haven't made it, made it a priority. I have no idea what it's about, but um, it's gonna be really good. So stay tuned for when I get to that. Then I wanted to read this in October, never got to it. Devil Takes You Home by Gabino Iglesias. I heard great things about it. This was from Book of the Month and it also came with a translation guide because there's a lot of Espanol in here. So um, I think that's awesome. And hopefully, I don't know if I could do it this month, but again, maybe in February uh, or March. Man, I can't believe I'm talking February or March. But um, I wanna read 20 books this month. I have 12 kind of picked out. This may be one, I don't know. We gotta see. I'm not getting overwhelmed with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm pacing myself, pacing myself. And lastly, I want to pick this up um, 
for bedtime stories. <laughs> Clive Barker's Books of Blood. Um, never read it. Super interested in reading it. A short story here and there in the evening and just chunk out the book throughout the year until I finish it. Um, so, yeah. Looking forward to that. Okay. Next prompt. All right, number three, what genre do you want to read more of? In my last year's video, I said science fiction. And then I said equally science fiction and horror. And guess what? Your girl read more horror than anything this year. So I think I'm starting the new year off wonderful. I am reading right now The Passenger by Cormac McCarthy, as well as Machines Like Me by Ian McEwan. Both of those have a sci-fi flair to it, kind of, kind of. There definitely is science. There definitely is fiction. Um, we're not on a new world. We're not on a new planet or anything like that. But it has that mm, nerd, geekness quality to it. Cormac McCarthy is talking about string theory. He's talking about splitting atoms and all of this stuff. And when he started talking about string theory, my ears just perked up because that is like one of my favorite things to read about. And then horror, um, like I said, horror was my number one genre in 2022. And I want to keep that going because it's fun. It is just fun. So, uh, so those are the two that um, I want to I put my toe in the in the, the pool. I'm going all in now. I'm, I'm deep diving. So yeah, it's going to stay that way because it's fun. Read what you love. Don't read what everybody else is reading. Read what you love. Next, oof, name three non-book related goals. Okay, so number one is travel because I have been deprived of travel for so long and I'm still really nervous about traveling, but I need to use my passport. Like I just need two people. Um, so trying to convince the hubs to go to a certain place, maybe for my birthday, maybe we got to see, um, just a quick getaway. Um, but I really want to do this. It's on the bucket list and I'm not going to tell you until like it, it happened and it's over. Um, I really just want, you know, when I turned 50, I was supposed to, I had plans to go to Europe, um, and, spend two, you know, like a week over in Europe and see Paris and London, just uh, embrace the culture and just love every single minute of it. So, um, I would love for that to happen this year. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Um, what else? I want to go to New York city. I want to go to New York city and I want to go to the strand and I want to take all of you with me. <laughs> Let's do a big meetup in New York city. Um, definitely want to do that. I would love to go to um, Arizona during the winter and get some sun. I'd love to go to uh, California. I would love to just go anywhere. I think during the summer, I'd like to go to Mexico, hit the beach. Um, but there's so many places I want to go, you know, and, you know, we don't have kids. So it's like, let's just go. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, travel's number one. Um, <sighs> gym stuff, you know, I want I want to keep up. Um, I want to work hard this year. I kind of slacked off a little bit last year with my weight training. I wouldn't say slacked off, but I should have better gains than I had last year. So like my deadlift is probably at like 185. I would like to get 200, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Like I would like to improve my time for Murph when Murph comes around. Murph is, is this um, workout that happens pretty much at – mostly at CrossFit um, affiliates on Memorial Day. And I want to improve my time from last year, which was really good. Like I ran like a nine minute mile, which is awesome. Uh, but that kind of stuff. So fitness goals. Um, and what else? Oh, I want my channel to keep growing. How's that? Yeah, let's keep growing the channel. Um, just want to keep being me. That's all. And I think it's working so far. And pff, Watson's going to keep being him. Y'all love him. All right, so those are like the three non-booky related goals, I guess. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Prompt number five, what's a book you've had forever that you still need to read? Oh, Jesus. A book that I've had forever that I still need to read. I need to consult my shelves. Let's go to the shelves. 
All right, I'm gonna go with this one. And I saw this on Yo Biebs. Yo, what's up, Yo Biebs? Um, his channel's awesome. I will link it down below. His book of the year is a book I've had on my shelf since it was published. And it was published back in June of 2019, before all the pandemic stuff. Um, and that is Blake Crouch Recursion. This lines up with the science fiction um, and it needs to get read. It just needs to. So let's read the blurb. Let me know if you've read it. Comment down below. But Yo Biebs like, said this is his book of the year last year. And he gave it as gifts and all this cool stuff. So it's got to be good. It's got to be good. All right. Um, memory makes reality. That's what New York City cop Barry Sutton is learning as he investigates the devastating phenomena the media has dubbed false memory syndrome. A mysterious affliction that drives its victims mad with memories of a life they never lived. Can you imagine? Uh -oh. That's what neuroscientist Helena Smith believes. It's why she's dedicated her life to creating a technology that will let us preserve our most precious memories. If she succeeds, anyone will be able to re-experience a first kiss, the birth of a child, the final moment with a dying parent. As Barry searches for the truth, he comes face to face with an opponent more terrifying than any disease. A force that attacks not just our minds, but the very fabric of the past. And its effects begin to unmake the world as we know it. Only he and Helena working together will stand a chance at defeating it. But how can they make a stand when reality itself is shifting and crumbling all around them? At once, a relentless page turner and an intricate science fiction puzzle box about time, identity, and memory. Recursion is a thriller as only Blake Crouch knows, or Blake Crouch could imagine it. And his most ambitious, mind-boggling, irresistible work to date. And I'm a fan of Blake Crouch. I think I've read three books. No, I've read, this will be my third. My third? Dark Matter. Did Dark Matter. I did um, Upgrade. I don't think I read any others. I think this is the other one. Okay, so let's go to the list. Going to the 2023 list sooner or later. Don't know if it'll happen in January, but stay tuned. You never know. All right, and let's see. Prompt number six. One word you're hoping 2022 will be. Or I'm sorry. Am I, did I just go back in time? Um, one word I hope 2023 will be. My word for 2022 was wonderful, and I hoped and prayed that 2022 would be wonderful, and yes, indeed it was. No matter all of the stuff that the world has faced and all of the things that have been going on um, with the pandy and, and everything else, it, I still was able to make it a wonderful year, and that is in part by all of you. So thank you for that. Um, so my word in 2023 is going to be adventure and you can take that for physical travel you can take it for being adventurous at home trying something different going outside the comfort zone that's the type of adventure i'm talking about um and travel too why not so that's my word next is to tag people i'm not going to tag um i'm going to tag everyone that is watching this video since it is so timely and I don't know if people know about this tag or not because like I said this is a year old um, that when I did it and I don't know how long it was before that um, but I am going to tag all of you so if you are a creator feel free to do the tag it shouldn't take long and I'm sure we are all going to enjoy your answers all right everyone that's it that's it here from me so yeah Whoo! that was then this is now baby <laughs> I'm a little more relaxed in front of the camera. I'm a little more um, smiley. I'm a little more me. That was that was woo blinders on. All right, let's just, let's just get get through this and shut it, shut it down. So yeah, um, and that comes with experience. That comes with time. That comes with getting comfortable with all of you and getting to know all of you. Because when I'm talking to my phone, I'm talking to my friends. Because I know you're all out there. Okay, that's it here for me. Happy New Year, everyone. Um, if you are not a creator, comment down below and let me know what your word of the year is. Be interested to find out. All right. So make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now.